Duck. Um, in this video I just wanted to show you quickly how I magnetize the big beasts of my beast Riders. And there is already a great video by Harry from the um, Dark Artisan where he shows you how you can do it. I'm, for this video it's more like an addition and I want to show how it all might look when you're done. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this model first. So this is the model how you shouldn't do it because nothing is magnetized about this one. Um, that's because I bought this one from a friend, it was cheap, but he assembled the whole thing and I had to paint it and that was a pain in the ass, I can tell you. So this is just a Huskart and Thalatusk, so don't do it like this. Um, but, I mean, it looks good if it's all firm and everything, but no. But the other ones are magnetized, so uh, let's pick this fella here. Um, so this is like the lowest... Um, uh, level of magnetizing basically it's all built like a, a frost lord more or less but the arm here is magnetized so I've got this arm here there's a little magnet or in this case there are two little magnets here and here are also two little magnets but you can do it in a better way probably so so now he's actually a huskard on stonehorn and if I take this and put the spear here. I suddenly have a frost lord on Stonehorn. So I definitely recommend you to do at least this. If you're really if you if you're not into magnetizing, at least do this. It will give you the option uh which hero you will play on that Stonehorn. Um because I usually play um one frost lord. Um I didn't really have to magnetize the hat because there's always one stone horn. And the other thing what I can really recommend you is this spear would have already broken off because of this, but because it's magnetized it doesn't break off. So even for that reason I would recommend you definitely to um, magnetize that. Okay, so that's this one. So then we've got this Stornhorn here, this, these are Beast Riders and these Beast Riders they are also fixed. Um, but what's not fixed is the head here. Um, so you can see there is green stuff in here and a big magnet. And also here there is some green stuff and a big magnet. The green stuff um, itself will not hold the magnet. You will, after the green stuff is dried, also have to put some super glue in there. Okay, so there is that, um, and you can easily exchange it. Okay, so you can take off the head here and put the other head in. Now it's Thundertusk Beast Rider suddenly here. Um, you can already see that this part is already broken off on this side here. That's the problem about this. Um, so these things, they can't go on the ogre's hand, they have to be on the head and that's a bit of a problem unfortunately. That's why for the last um, mount I have not put them there. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this is now uh, just a thunder tusk head here and you can see the reins are not on it, it doesn't really make sense, but at least it doesn't break off. So you can exchange, do the head swap, and whoop, now it's a Stonehorn head. So this mount is, I think, um, the one I did the best job on, or at least it's it's um, it has the most options because for once you can swap the, swap the head off and put either of these in. But that's not the only thing. You can also take off the back here. There are no magnets involved here. Um, and instead you can put this thing here. Oops, just, just the right side, okay. Um, yeah, like so. So now you can see it's just a hero on whatever you want. And the other thing is, I did not magnetize 
<laughs> the arm on this one. This is firm, but I did a weapon swap. So he's got the bird here, a vulture, and I put this Gargant hacker here, which could also be a, a frost spear. So this hero could technically be either a husk card or a stone horn, if you wanted to be one. Yes, so I think that's it. So if you want 100% flexibility with your options, then you should do it like this one, of course, because this one model can be either a Stonehorn Beast Riders or Hero, or a Thunder Tusk Beast Riders or Hero, either a Thunder Tusk or, um, or a Frost Lord. But uh, it doesn't have to be that way. You know you will probably have one Stonehorn Hero here where you can just swap one thing. And you will probably also have Beast Riders where you just need to swap the head. Um, that's it. I hope you found this helpful for you. Um, have fun with the Beast Riders. Mm -hmm.